In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And appropriately today for Labor Day, we sang, uh, celebrate a votive mass for the sanctification of human labor. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We pray, O God, who through human labor never ceased to perfect and govern the vast work of creation, listen to the prayers of your people. Grant that all men and women may find work that benefits, that befits their dignity, joins them more closely to one another, and enables them to serve their neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass of the field had sprouted. For the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil. But a stream was welling up out of the earth, and was watering all the surfaces of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground, and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial, Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work, work of our hands. hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work, work of our hands. hands. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, for as a watch of the night, you make an end of them in their sleep. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work of our hands. hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work of our hands. hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all of our days. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory by their children. Lord, Lord give success, success to the work of our hands. Be with you with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. What, a, what a great feast day, or votive mass. This is national holiday, Labor Day. On, on so many levels, I could talk all day about it, but let me just say this. We, we all know that it's good to have a job. The job kind of tells you what you are. You're a teacher, maybe you're a plumber, maybe you're an electrician, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a nurse. But your job tells you something, what you're good at. Some people are good with their hands. Some people maybe good with their brain, whatever. But it's good to have a job. So many have lost theirs because of the pandemic and are, are worrying 
How am I going to put food on that table for my family? Human labor is very important. To some extent, it tells you who you are. And it's good. So much so that when you retire, some people don't know what to do because their whole lives have been built around going to work and feeling productive. When you're disabled and unable to work because of an injury, you feel lost. And when you, if you do lose your job, you, you know, you, you, the kids look at you and say, why can't we get this? Well, because we don't have the money. Work is important. You know, it's funny, we've seen a lot of kids the last few weeks saying, I want to go back to school. That's their job. You want to feel productive like you're creating something. But there's another step. You notice that the prayers, it said, for the sanctification of labor. You're not just a worker. You're not just a cog in some big thing. The goal isn't to make money. The goal is to make a difference. That, that your life is special. You're not just an electrician, but you're a Christian. That it's not just about money. Good to have money. Bad not to have money. But I want my, 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 my work to give me dignity. Or else I'm just a slave, not a worker. I, ho I hope many of us you are retired. Many watching are probably not retired. Well, I hope the work you have gives you joy. Gives you peace. Makes you feel like you are making a difference. That it gives you a sense of dignity. That you're paid what you should be paid. That you're working years, and there's a lot of them. That's what kids don't realize. They're working a long time. That it makes you feel good about yourself. Then it's not a job, it's a joy. I hope we all have that, or if we are done working, had that. I think we'll sleep better at night. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. For Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, that the Holy Spirit may continue to guide them as they lead our holy and universal church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For peace in our nation and peace in our world and for an end to terrorism and the havoc that it causes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our elected officials, that they will fulfill their civic duties and responsibilities with honesty and integrity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For containment of the COVID virus and its eventual eradication, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Today's Mass is being offered as a special intention for me, requested by the 9 o'clock dailies, and I thank them very much for that. They've been very kind to me in the five years that I have served here, and I ask God to bless them always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, we beg you to hear all of our prayers. Let our work be holy. Let it help us make a difference that the work of our hands may reflect you, the creator of this world. We make all our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice. The God who, in the offerings presented here, nourish the human race with food and renew it with sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We laid the foundations of the world and arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image, setting humanity over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. 
Through Christ, the angels praise you, and all the powers of heaven adore you. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper any took a chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us always pray, especially our beloved Deacon Jan, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, your devoted husband, but all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who please you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy that you should enter into my room.
let us pray. Having been made partakers of this table of unity and charity, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that through the work you've given us to do, we may sustain our life on earth and trustfully build up your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God bless us and all of our families. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. You may now come forward to receive the body of Christ. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Thanks.